After your company file has been created in QuickBooks, tax rates must be set up in the PC America application. To set up tax rates in Siri or RP, select Manager from the login screen and enter your credentials. Select Setup, then select Tax Rates. Enter the appropriate tax rates and then select Update. To edit sales tax in QuickBooks, select Edit, then Preferences. Select Sales Tax on the left. Then select the Company Preferences tab. Select the Add Sales Tax Item button. Select Sales Tax Item under Type. Under Sales Tax Name, enter the corresponding tax rate name in CRE or RPE. For example, Tax 1 or Tax 2. Under Description, provide a description of what this tax item is. Under Tax Rate, enter the corresponding tax rate from CRE or RPE. Under Tax Agency, select New, and then enter the name for whom you are collecting this tax rate for. Select OK. Select OK again to close the New Item window. Then once more to close the Preferences window. It is required to repeat these steps for each tax rate you are using in CRE or RPE. In QuickBooks, there must be an item that accounts for all the discounts in CRE or RPE. Select List, then Item List. Select the Item button and then select New. Under Type, select Discount. Enter Discount under Item Name slash Number. Under Description, enter Sales Discount. For Account, select Sales Discounts. Select OK. Then close the Item List window. To begin the integration process, the QuickBooks Company file must be opened with all the windows closed. Open CRE or RP. Select the Manager button from the login screen and enter your credentials. Select Tools, then QuickBooks Sales Pass. Select OK to any messages that appear. To the right of the Company file, select Load. Then locate the company file that you created earlier in QuickBooks. Highlight it, then select Open. Select OK to any messages that appear. Select Save and Exit. We will then want to restart the PC America application. Select the Manager button, then enter your credentials. Select Tools, then QuickBooks Sales Pass. Then select the Configuration button. You should then be prompted in QuickBooks to select how and when the PC America application will be allowed to access the company file. After making your selection, select Continue, then select Yes that you want to allow access. Select Done to the Access Confirmation window. Select General on the left, then check the store you want to be exporting the data from. Then select the General Sales tab. Under Store Settings, select the correct Store ID. Under the General Sales section, you will want to enable General Sales. You will also want to delete the journal data, which will help prevent any duplicate data from being exported. Under the Debit and Credit columns is the list of accounts that are directly referenced from your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. These accounts will have to be set up prior to any configuration. For a list of accounts that are required to be exported to, please see faq.pcamerica.com. After the accounts have been set up and selected, select the Export Dates tab. Optionally, we can have the application warn us of any previous data. We will then want to select the start date for the export. We will want to make sure that the start date is the same for everything listed there. When done, Select Save and Exit. 
To export the net sales in one lump sum, select the net sales tab and check enable. This will export the data into the account specified earlier. To further break down your sales, select the sales total tax tab. Here you will be able to break down the sales by total tax, tax sales, non-tax sales, and tax exempt sales. To export your tax rates into individual accounts, select the sales individual tax tab. Under the payment tab, you can optionally select to export the payment types broken down. To further break down the payment types by credit card type, select the payment credit card tab. Select the COGS tab or cost of goods sold tab, which will export the cost of your inventory as well as the price to help you determine the profit margin in QuickBooks. Select Export Now to begin exporting data into QuickBooks. Select OK to any messages that appear. Select OK to the confirmation message that the export has completed. Then select Exit. To view exported data in QuickBooks, select List, then Chart of Accounts. Double-click an account that had data exported to it, which will display the detailed journal entry of the imported data.